so hello and um <laughs> this is very different from what i normally do for multiple reasons one because i'm on a zoom call and with someone else Hi. and two because we are going to be reacting and listening to for the first time taylor swift's evermore yes okay I, I wasn't sure if it was evermore or ever lore but i'm like wait no that's folklore I... yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah we're also gonna be watching um the willow music video yes that's dropping literally in five minutes. Yeah, in five minutes. We're here. It's midnight or almost midnight where we are. Um, yeah, we're excited. And <laughs> yeah, this might, this might, this could go awful because I've never really done something like this, like recording a Zoom call and like doing all that. So it might be bad, but also it's just going to be fun time because we're just going to listen to music and. Yeah. React to it. Like, react, talk about stuff. And... I am react to it, yeah. Is this from Cardigan? Oh, it, is it like a continuation? <gasps> that, is, is that a coffin? No, it's a piano. You know what's a Cardigan? This is like magic. Did you not watch the Cardigan music video? I did. This is the same thing. Almost. What? Well, she just dove in. <gasps> She's in the glass box. She's on display. It looks so good. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. Fuck. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, that's gonna be him, yeah. It's supposed to be him, it's not him though. Well, you know. I'm kind of disappointed, but I also understand. So that was Willow, the music video. Um, yes, I genuinely thought that was Joe at first because, like, I was just like, I was just so in the moment. Okay, okay, yeah. In, in the reflection part in the water, I kind of thought it was, but then like, yeah. And then I was just a little bit disappointed because I had gotten my hopes up, thinking that like they literally hired Joe as the actor. Yeah, I know. I know you saw, like, a bunch of theories about, like, it was going to be this big thing or whatever, and, like... Yeah. I yeah. saw a bunch of theories about it, and I, I guess... I mean, that was just a first reaction, so I, there's so much that you could pick apart in that music video, I think. Um, yeah. Little things. But yeah, I mean... overall reaction? Hmm? What is your overall reaction? I like... I mean, honestly, I feel like when I, we go... Now that we're going to listen to all the songs from um, Evermore, we're going to need to re-listen to Willow, because I wasn't really paying attention to the song. I was more focused on the video. Yeah, I was focused on the video. So I, was like, I was like, but the song is good, but I don't know what they're like. I, so we're going to need to re-listen to that, which is, um, I think, the first one, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really good, because they like, connected really well with the Cardigan music video. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that one in a while, though, so I kind of like forgot. Like I yeah. saw that once, I think. Yeah, I did too, but um, I remember like the yellow string and her going in and teleporting all the all over the world or whatever. So yeah, these two songs definitely connect Cardigan and or like the music videos do. So Yeah. So like I just said, we are going to um listen to Willow again. Just actually listen to it this time and not <laughs> watch the video because yeah. Um also it was good because I the parts I did here I liked, so Me too. Yeah. That's the only part I got <laughs> from the music video.
So that one's really good, Willow. Um, Obviously, it's one of her, the ones that she thinks will be more mainstream because it's the single. Yeah, and it's the first song. It's a music video thing. Like it, yeah. And honestly, it's good. But obviously, we have a lot more to go, so. Yes. I also want to get my drink and candy because I might cry. You will cry, yeah. I, I was going to say, you definitely will cry at some point. Yeah, I don't have candy. Or well, I have a drink. I have water, because being healthy is good. <laughs> Something I don't normally do, but water was near, and I was thirsty. So next is champagne problems. Yeah, I know. It's it's gonna be one of those things where like after like it was some sort of marriage proposal. Yeah. Wow, that completely took me off guard. <laughs> me too. Wow. Really? That was yeah. Yeah, so next we have Gold Rush. So yeah, let's go. I mean, I'm, I'm liking the beat. It's really cool. This is so different from mm. what you've ever done before. Folklore reference. That had a folklore reference, so I'm gonna have to go back to that. Yeah. That was good. It was very different, though. Very interesting sound. I yeah. actually, I like this. Who, as somebody who, more so than Billy, explores different sounds. Yeah. That was pretty good. So next up is Tis the Damn Season. And didn't she post something about this on Instagram or something? Yeah. Tis the Damn Season, which is, that's definitely a holiday one. Mm, well, Merry Christmas. I 
You about to cry? Yeah, we probably should warn you, Amanda will probably cry during one or more of these songs. Okay this one might be the one, as you can okay see her balled up. <laughs> No good. No good comes from that kind of thing. <clears throat> Leading to anybody else in anybody else's hometown. No good. Thank you, Taylor, for <laughs> calling me out. <laughs> I didn't think was possible. Yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she totally got you. <laughs> Yeah, so um, in case you couldn't tell, we probably should have addressed this, that um, Amanda's going to mute her um, audio because when she plays it, I can hear it, but apparently she can hear it when I play it. So she is muted. She will unmute if she needs to say something like she did. But just so you guys know, she will be muted during the song, but then afterwards we'll discuss. And... You guys, I'm sorry, but that was a bit of an inside joke between Billy and I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you probably didn't understand it, but I'm sure you might be able to damn season. Yeah, it's the damn season. And now it's time to tolerate it because that's the next song. I know my love should be celebrated, but you tolerated. I greet you with the battle heroes. Welcome. I take your indiscretions all in good fun. I know my love should be celebrated but you tolerated while you were out building other worlds where was i where's that man who threw blankets over my barbed wire i made you my temple my view and my sky now i'm begging for footnotes in the story of your life drawing hearts in the byline took this dagger and me and removed it Gain the weight of you, then lose it. Believe me, I could do it. If it's all in my head, tell me now. Tell me I've got it wrong somehow. Okay, this one does not feel autobiographical. Mm. This one feels like there's a story behind it. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It doesn't feel like her singing. Interesting piece. Yeah. Definitely not her, though. And I can tell because I feel like when she's, even in folklore, like, this might be just my opinion, but I feel like there's, like, a raw like way that she sings about her personal life that I feel like is missing from some of the um fictional stuff that she did in folklore like I just didn't feel the same kind of like love or anger or betrayal or whatever else it was I didn't feel it as much in the songs that were autobi that were like kind of like fictional do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't feel it in this one. Like, yeah. I didn't feel like she was really in it. Because I could tell when she's really in it, when she's talking about a personal experience. Mm -hmm. you know? And I just didn't feel that with this one. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. that might be a controversial opinion, but... Yeah, I mean, it was definitely an interesting take on, like, everything. Interesting. Yeah. What is the next song? 
No body, no crime. No featuring Heim. Yes, Heim. I don't know who that is. Okay, so Heim the band is, uh, they're, they're three sisters. They're a rock band. And um, they're friends with Taylor. Clearly. Um, they've been friends with Taylor for a while. They actually went on tour with her um, one time when, that was the first time I discovered Heim. I actually, because they were on tour with her. And they were just so good. And they have songs that I think you'd like, Billy. So I'll send them to you. They have a couple of like really good songs. Okay. They, they have more than that, but they have a couple of like hits that I think you'd like. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they're very good friends with Taylor. They're also really good. Uh, the Danielle Heim, who uh, is like the kind of I guess she, I guess you could call her the lead um, of the band. She actually played backup and toured with Julian Casablancas, which is obviously, uh, well, to Billy, um, which is a singer that I personally really like. Um, so it's kind of like, isn't it weird how it's like all connected, like all different, you know, everybody yeah. in the industry is connected in one way or another, no matter what the genre. Anyway. Okay, well, let's listen. But I love Heim. Byron. He did it. He did it. Oh shit. <laughs> that ain't my jewelry on our joint account. No, there ain't no doubt. Move it, no, nobody, no crime. But I ain't letting up until the day I die. Shit! <laughs> oh, damn. house his truck has got some brand new tires and his mistress moved in sleeps in Estes bed and everything mm. oh there ain't no doubt somebody's gotta catch him out yeah. cause I think he did it my daddy made me get a boating license when I was 15 and I've cleaned enough houses to know how to cover up a scene Good thing Esty's sister's gonna swear she was with me. She was with me, dude. Good thing his mistress took out a big life insurance policy. Oh, shit! They think she did it, but they just can't prove it. She thinks I did it, but she just can't prove it. No, nobody, no crime. I wasn't letting up until the day. Wow. Can we just let's take a, a moment of appreciation yes, let us. for her um therapeutic creativity in cheating men. Mm. I love it. Yes. Very fun to listen yes. to. It was very it's kind of like a fan a fantasy <laughs> deal. The story whatever. was what was captivating about it. It was that. yeah, it was like right off the bat, it was like, oh, you knew exactly what was going on. Oh, hello. Yes. I just had a thought. Oh, here comes the thought. What? What was that? Tolerated. Tolerated, no body, no crime. I just feel like they're on the same wavelength. Oh, you think they're connected? Oh, they could be. It could be. Maybe. It could be a part of a story. I hey, feel Tolerated like- and no body, no crime. That actually makes a lot of sense. It does. The tolerate was kind of about like, a girl in a relationship who was like the guy wasn't really paying attention to her and like she was just taking yeah. it. And this one she clearly wasn't taking it and yeah. It's like she had enough. Ooh. That's a that's a good theory. Okay, to juxtapose that, the next song is called Happiness. I saw that, yeah. I'm like, okay, this one dialing is part of it if it there is a thing, but I don't know. No body, no crime. Now she's happy. I hope she'll be a beautiful fool Who takes my spot next to you No, I didn't mean that Sorry, I can't see facts Through all of my fury You haven't met the new me yet Take for seven years 
Okay. Here are some initial thoughts. At first, I was thinking it was about Harry Styles, mm -hmm. but I do not think so anymore. Yeah. I think that this could hear me out. Um, I think that this is a song not written about Taylor by Taylor. I think it's, I think it's based off of Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. I do oh, you think. I do. Seven years of time is too long between Taylor and Harry because yeah. she got with Joe like 2017. So that wouldn't have made sense. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't have been seven years. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez got together in about 2011 or 2012, and they ended in. 2018 so i think they started in 2011 that would be seven years yeah be seven years and her like the, there's another woman that's mm -hmm. Haley baldwin that could be yeah because that's what happened there's a lot of spec speculation but yeah i i do i think that that is honestly yeah. i I could see that, yeah. And I mean, I bet she would do it because Taylor and Selena are very good friends. Oh privately, yeah. Privately, they're very good friends. I remember I mean, she said <laughs> once on like Twitter or something. She's like, "I don't care what you do or say about me. Just don't do or say anything about her." Referring she, to hates, her she hates Justin Bieber now. Like she doesn't like Justin Bieber because of what he did to her. Hmm. They've always been good friends. Yeah. Well, that's a theory. <laughs> it's my theory, my initial theory. Yeah, honestly, that, I mean, it makes sense, yeah. So next up, we have Dorothy Dorothea. So there's probably context to this, to this that we're not going to get right away because it's named after somebody. Yeah. So, yeah. Got shiny friends since you left town. A tiny screen's the only place I see you now. And I got not always know me, Dorothy. Interesting. I I don't know. <laughs> I think that wasn't one of my favorites from the album, though. Yeah, I know it was definitely one, probably one of the weaker ones. That um, I think it was the weakest so far. Yeah. Next, we have Coney Island featuring the National. Coney Island baby, like. Ooh. Break my soul in two, looking for you, but you're right here. If I can't relate to you any more than who am I related to? Hmm. The question pounds my head, what's a lifetime of achievement? If I pushed you to the edge, but you were too polite to leave me. Mm. We are standing in the hallway with a big cake. Happy birthday. Did I paint your bluest skies the darkest gray? A universe way. And when I 
got into the accident The sight that flashed before me was your face But when I walked up to the podium I think that I forgot to say your name I'm on a bench in Coney Island Wondering where did my baby go The fast times, the bright lights, the merry-go I think Exile is stronger. I, w- I was going to say it gave me major Exile vibes. But, like, Exile is stronger. Uh, yeah, I like Exile better, but this song definitely reminded me of that. Yeah. I don't know. Exile is a stronger song. Yeah. Next, we have Ivy. Okay. How's one to know? I'd meet you where the spirit meets the bones In a faith forgotten land In from the snow Oh, goddamn My pain pits in the palm of your freezing hand Taking mine, but it's been promised to another Oh, I can't stop you putting roots in my dream Okay. Really interesting, but I don't know if it's her real life. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. And drink? No, no. My drink my husband's wine. Yeah. Man. <laughs> but I really liked it. I I enjoyed that. That's one of my favorites so far. A really good one. Yeah. Next is Cowboy Like Me. Interesting. And the tennis court was covered up with some tent like thing. And you asked me to dance, but I said dancing is a dangerous game. You're a cowboy like me. And I'm never gonna love you. What did you think of that one? I thought that one was kind of slow. Uh, I was gonna say it's definitely it's not it's definitely like mid middle right now for the album for me. Like it wasn't one of my favorites. It wasn't one of my least it was definitely like middle mm-hmm. range. It, but yeah, it kinda like was a bit repetitive and like That's true. Yeah, it wasn't really my favorite, but it was fine. Like it was okay. It was yeah. I thought some of the beginning of the album was like I was really liking the beginning of the album. Yeah. And I really liked Ivy, but Ivy was good too, yeah. So far. Eh, I like I like most of them. Yeah. Okay, oh. we have four more. Four more, yeah. We're final four now. And next is a long story short. Faithfully, I tried to pick my battles till the battle picked me at the golden gates they once held the keys to. When I dropped my sword, I threw it in the bushes and not 
knocked on your door will defeat themselves before you get the chance to swing and he's passing by rare as the glimmer of a comet in the sky and he feels like home if the shoe fits walking it everywhere you go and i fell from the pedestal right down the rabbit hole long story short it was a bad time i pushed from the precipice climbed right back up the cliff long story short i A badass song. That w- that's one of my favorites, and I could tell from the beginning too. I'm like, wait, I'm gonna like this one. I really like that she's just like, hey, stuff happens in life, and she survives. Through it, so will you. Yeah, I, I, that one one is one of my favorites. Now this next one is called Marjorie, which her is name. named after her grandmother. Yeah. Never be so kind, you forget to be clever. Never be so clever, you forget to be kind. But I didn't stay dead, you're alive, you're alive in my head. What does I should have asked you questions, I should have asked you how to be. Asked you to write it down for me Should have kept every grocery store receipt Cause every scrap of you would be taken from me Watched as you signed your name Marjorie All your closets of backlog dreams And how you left them all to me And if I didn't know better I think you were singing to me now If I didn't know You were still around I know better But I still feel you All around I know better But you're still around Shit Holy shit Oh fuck! Okay. Oh my god, is that over yet? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. You didn't expect to cry, though, did I, you? I did. Really? I did not. Holy shit, that hit me in the feels. Me too. Wow, like. She captures it all. Yeah. Everything you think when you know. Hmm. What do you love dies. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've both been through that, and like, I'm sure many people have. Yeah, I'm sure anyone who's listened to this has or will at some point. And that's like the exact feeling of it. It's like you should have kept every little thing because soon you'll be taken away. And like, I should ask you, like, it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that got me. That got me. Billy didn't expect to cry. I didn't know. I'm normally so good. I like holding it together. Yeah, no, when we want good vibes, we skip that one. Yeah, no, yeah, no. That's, yeah, no. We're, yeah, when we're like jamming the car, that's definitely one we're going to need to skip because that's just like, that will bring the movie way down. But that was a really nice and beautiful song. Well, this next one's called Closure. Okay, well. <laughs> and it is the second to last song. Yeah, we're almost done. And it's one thirty in the morning. This is taking us so long. I know. Actually, to be fair, it is an hour long. The album itself is an hour long, so we're not doing that bad considering we watched the. Yeah, the we did watch the um video. music video beforehand, and like. But we're not that far before. behind. No. Anyway, we should get going. Yeah. So closure. Let's go. It's been a long time And seeing the shape of your name Still spells out pain It wasn't right The way it all went down Looks like you know that now So 
don't treat me like some situation that needs to be handled. Wow. I'm fine with my spite and my tears and my beers and my candles. I can feel you smoothing me over. Yes, I got your letter. Yes, I'm doing better. I know that it's over. I don't need your closure, closure, your closure. <laughs> your closure. Let's not talk about how uh, relatable Taylor Swift is. I, I was going to say, I'm, I, the second I started hearing the words, I'm like, wait, this is going to be one of those songs that you relate to hardcore. Mm-mm-mm. I don't need your letter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired, though. Yeah, well, we have one more song left. Evermore featuring Bon Iver. That's the last one. Grey November I've been down since July Motion capture Put me in a bad light Think of all the cost and the things that will be lost. Or oh, can we just get a pause? And I couldn't be sure. I had a feeling so peculiar. This pain wouldn't be for evermore. Evermore. interesting yeah in my feels a little bit yeah i think the first part was like very slow and then like in the middle it started picking up a bit more which i liked weird kind of a weird interesting way to take that it just kind of came came out of nowhere yeah but i kind of liked the like i liked it it after i liked it after i like got used to it but yeah, cause it, was, watch- it was definitely weird. Cause, like the first part was very like slow and soft, and then like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we've listened to the album in full, yeah. All in all, thoughts. Um. Okay. So some standout writing. Willow. Willow. Yeah. Champagne problems. Mm-hmm. Tis the damn season. Nobody, no crime. And I, Ivy and Marjorie. And long story short. Actually, so that's like half the album. That's seven songs, yeah. I think Gold Rush, Tolerate It, Happiness, Dorothea, Coney Island, Cowboy Like Me, Closure, and Evermore were all ones that I didn't really vibe with, I think. Yeah. So about half of the album for me. Yeah, and like... The thing is, though, I'll definitely go back and listen to those songs. Listen to it again, and then maybe I'll appreciate the lyrics more on some of these because I don't. Yeah, because that's what always happens. Like the first time I listen to, there are some songs I don't like, some songs I do, and then I listen to them more and more. Again, and and then you're like, "Whoa!" Yeah, it'll change and vary. So, yeah, definitely agree. Those are some of the standout ones for me too. Okay, here's a good question. Oh, good question. Folklore or Evermore? Right now, I'm gonna say folklore because I've listened to it a lot more and I know a lot of the songs and I like a lot. And, like, you know, I'm more familiar with that one. Where, can I say some? Oh, wait, you go, you say yeah. And whereas in Evermore, we I just listened to it one through and like obviously listening through it a few more times, I'll have different opinions and thoughts. So, right now, I'm saying folklore. Um, but yeah, it could change. What were you gonna say? I think. Because even on my first initial listen, I liked folklore more. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be folklore because I think, like, I think to myself, can Willow really compare to the one or Cardigan or August? Like, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe that one, but like the rest of them, like, can you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Like, how does Ivy do against August, you know? Because yeah. August is great. Invisible String. Oh, yeah. A that's a good song. That's a good one. Illicit yeah. Affairs. Like, Betty. I don't know. Yeah. But then I guess one of those things where, like, the more we l- we'll listen to it, because, like, I'll, when I'm at work, I'll listen to this, like, on, like album, like, on shuffle for, like, the lyrics are weeks. more interesting in this one, though. Some of they're more sassy. They're like bold. Yeah, and, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna need to listen to the lyrics and like, then maybe I'll appreciate it more. So, yeah. But yeah, I definitely agree. Folklore right now is over mm-hmm. Evermore. And, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed Evermore. I'll be honest. I liked it. I did. I also did. I enjoyed it. I was getting tired, so. Yeah, no, I know. I know it's really it again. Tough We'll listen to it again. Yeah. So that was our reaction and first listen to Evermore and the Willow music video and everything else we did. I don't know how much we did. It's like we've been up for like two hours. It's like almost two in the morning now. Um Yeah. Hopefully next time she releases something, we will be in person to listen to it. Hopefully. Cause that way it'll be a lot easier with Zoom and everything and we won't need to do that and then we can just yeah. Oh, you know what we should do at some point? What? I saw that there's like a legit tier list of all Taylor Swift songs where you can like rank them and shit. Oh, yeah. I think that would be fun for us to do. Yeah, that so would if be you fun. want to see us do that, let me know. and That would be fun. In the future. I will look less tired and sleepy. And Hopefully dead. I will too, yeah. It'll be like midday or something so we can not look like shit and be up at 2 in the morning. Okay, Here's so yeah. Question, y'all. That's it. And y'all, I mean right. the internet that watches Billy. So yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I know, I need to go to bed. Good night.